Good night. It is May 27, 2024, and it is a Monday. Here in Sherbrooke, it is uh, currently 17 degrees Celsius, um, 63 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's raining. Um, the sun this morning rose at 5.05 a.m., and it's set at 8.24 p.m., which means... I don't know if you've like noticed a pattern in this um, over the past few months, but it's 15 hours and 19 minutes of sunlight. If, if I'm not mistaken, it's more than yesterday. Um, I'm going to keep it brief today. I don't have much to say, and it's getting late. And um, yeah, I was sort of a space cadet all day. Not doing uh, super well and yeah, I, I couldn't like uh, focus but I went to my meeting at uh, the Drug and Alcohol Recovery Center and uh, I have a challenge um, which is to read for 15 minutes before I go onto my computer because I don't know, there's like a lot of stuff that I've done in my life to set it up so that um, sort of the easiest decision um, in any given moment um, usually is some sort of uh, habit that I uh, want to change or like some behavior that I don't want to have or do as much. And a really insidious one is uh, my computer. I just spend all my time in front of my computer. And it's not like I'm doing something that I enjoy that much or is moving me towards uh, what's important for me. Um, and we're also like, also trying to like find like different uh, avenues for pleasure because what's really difficult with alcohol is that it gives me immediately the most pleasure. And the ratio of uh, effort to pleasure is just uh, absolutely perfect. But I do like reading and like when I'm doing it, because like there's music, listening to music as well, but there's effort in like uh, uh, picking uh, what I want to listen to. And uh, if I don't listen to what I really, really want to listen to, then it's not that pleasurable. Uh, usually... Uh, but I really like reading, and also like I just I just haven't I'm just out of the habit of doing it. So I read a bit of a collection of short stories by Jorge Luis Borges. Uh, that's the best uh, I can uh, pronounce it. Um, and it was good. I read. I I didn't finish it. It was a very short story, but uh, I just have like one page left. Um, it was good. I forgot, I forgot the name of the story, but it, it wasn't. One of Bor he's his best that I have read in in my opinion. However, it's still undeniably Jorge Luis Borges. He's a fantastic writer. Check him out if you don't know him. Um, wrote a lot of short fiction and poetry. I don't know if he wrote any novels. I don't think so. He is from South or Central America. I don't know. His stuff was. Uh, written in Spanish. Um, anyway, great stuff. Uh, today, I'm thinking once again about Sufjan Stevens. Which I know I talked about uh, Sufjan Stevens just a few days ago. Um, I was listening to him last night. I was listening to the song uh, The Only Thing off of uh, Carrie and Lowell, which I believe came out in 2015. Was it 2015? Mm -hmm. Pretty sure I checked this out yesterday. Oh, there's somebody called Carrie Lowell, who's an actor. Carrie and Lowell, yeah. 2015. Um, which is an album that he wrote um, in reaction to his mother's death. He had this very complicated relationship with his mother. Um, 
And so Carrie was his mother, and Lowell was his stepdad. Like, although, I believe they divorced when he was still quite young. Um, he still remained really close to his uh, stepfather. And so, this song, The Only Thing, um, talks about suicide. So if you don't want to hear about suicide, you should probably not listen to that song. Um, but... You know what? I'm not even gonna describe it too much. It's not. It's not a complicated song. It's a very beautiful song. Um, it's very direct. The lyrics are really intense. But it just like finding ways to continue on. I mean, I had, like tears of my eyes just like reading the lyrics earlier. Like finding ways to continue. Just. Yeah, and for him, it's like uh, religion, it's Christian. Um, he's like looking up the stars, the constellations. Um, and not giving up. It's so beautiful. It's like, and like, I usually don't like very pretty music. I guess, I guess, um, Joanna Newsom could definitely be described as pretty, but like, it's definitely weird. And her voice, like, I think she's got a beautiful voice, but it's not like a pristine, perfect, pretty voice, especially earlier on in her, in her career. But I'll give you, like, the perfect example of, like, pretty music to me is uh, uh, Fleet Foxes. Um, although I did see Robin Pecknold open for uh, Joanna Newsom, and I thought that was great, but I don't know. I'm just not a fan of Fleet Foxes. Um, and yeah, it's just like, it's perfect, it's pristine, it's very pretty, but it just does absolutely nothing for me emotionally. And that's often how like pretty and perfect and pristine music affects me. But Sufjan will make the prettiest, prettiest, and he's got such a perfect, pretty voice as well. But then sometimes he'll sing these like absolutely devastating songs, like this one where it's just like, it's so raw. And of course, the perfect example is John Wayne Gacy Jr. off of uh, uh, Illinois, which is, why I believe, one of the greatest songs I've ever heard in my life, and definitely like, one of the most like brutally um, empathetic songs. It's it's it's. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna link both songs. I'm gonna link both songs in the description because. John Wayne Gacy Jr. is so good. It's such a good. It's such a good song. It's crazy how good that song is. The lyrics. I mean, it's. I don't. I don't know. If it's one of the greatest songs I've ever heard. But like the lyrics, it's. They're some of the best lyrics I've ever heard in a song, which for me goes a long way. So check out more Sufjan Stevens. It's. It's so good. It's so good. God damn. I need to listen to his latest album. I haven't listened to it yet. I heard, like, a single called Video Games, I think. It was talking about video games, and he obviously doesn't know anything about video games. I'm sorry, Sufjan, but uh, you, don't know, you don't know anything about video games. Um, later tonight, it's going to keep raining, I suppose. Um, yeah, we're going to keep having uh, thunderstorms. It's going to stay 17 degrees Celsius. See if it goes up or down a couple degrees in the Fahrenheit. Sixty-two. It's gonna go down one degree Fahrenheit. Um, it's sunny today, so I got to enjoy those beautiful blue skies and uh, that golden sunshine all along the way until um, it started raining tonight. So uh, everyone. Oh, and by the way, yeah. Um, I guess I'll have to talk more about my neighbor tomorrow. But yeah, he did end up like doing a lot of uh, screaming and throwing things. Um, But at about like quarter to 11 p.m., he just stopped suddenly, so there's that. But he did get the news from the landlord that he is going to get evicted. Uh, not, not just because of this, there's, there's other stuff going on. Um, so he got very angry at uh, one of my roommates today because, man, my roommate 
So in his mind, he associates the fact that my roommate uh, went up to, you know, um, tell him to stop screaming, and then eventually got really mad at my roommate. Got mad and screamed at uh, the neighbor. Um, and so yeah, the neighbor just associates. Basically, he thinks that that my roommate is the one who got him, is getting him kicked out. And then he, he said to my roommate, like, we should, you should be listening to me while I'm in my apartment. And it's like, dude, like, he was really mad, which I mean, I understand he's mad, he's getting evicted, but like, I was like, come on, dude. But it's, I mean, it's mental health stuff, so like, he, I like I was telling my roommate, like, I, I, I don't know where on, like, I don't know this guy, so I don't know, like, where on his uh, journey towards um, getting as healthy as he can be um, is. I mean, he's definitely like, engaging in behaviors that I think, I mean, look, I don't know what his mental health deal is, but, like, he drinks a lot. He's told me that he smokes weed, and, like, if he's on medication, like, I don't think he's taking his medication. And even if he is, like, there's a lot of medication that just doesn't work if you, like, drink or smoke weed or take other drugs and stuff. So, like, I don't know. I'm obviously not a fucking doctor, but... I don't know. Just... I'm trying to find a way to have the... Uh, like, the appropriate amount of empathy for this guy. But it's difficult because, like, I, I don't know him. So, I don't know. This, I mean, this is probably the best he's ever done, you know. I should be congratulating him, but... In any case, it's not going to be a problem for much longer, maybe just like another month, month and a half, I don't know. Uh, but, I mean, like maximum, pretty much a month. Because there's this thing in Quebec which allegedly does not happen like anywhere else. Let me know if you have something similar where you are. But like here, everybody moves on July 1st. Like it is, po like obviously it's possible to to um, get a lease, I mean, it's shorter than a year, or, you know, find somebody who broke their lease and, you know, find a place to live, but, like, the de facto date is July 1st. That's when every lease begins. So, anyway, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch more of Love on the Spectrum Ah, <laughs> oh, it's a good show. Um, everyone, have a great night.